Hello everybody. Um, before I start this video, well, I guess it's kind of already started, huh? Well, <laughs> before I continue in this video, y'all, I want to say a special shout out for Jack. I'm partially making this video for him because I just got done emailing him, well, this morning. Right now it's like 1 p.m., which doesn't matter. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was just conversing with him and I'm not going to go into details about it, but it was just... He, he really made my day because especially with my youtube channel now and connecting with y'all i've experienced like such kindness and support that truly i'm just not used to ever having in my life i'm always kind of used to just being like my own cheerleader my own support system and you guys really do give me a lot of purpose but um when people like go the act like extraordinary like over the top with their kindness i guess um it catches me off guard, man. It catches me off guard because it's like, I'm not used to that happening. <laughs> I'm used to giving it. I'm used to doing that for other people, but I'm not really used to like someone really, I guess kind of going out of their way to just be kind to me. And hold on, I think I need to like, hold on. <laughs> yeah, and so just want to give him a special shout out. I love you so much, Jack, thank you. But yeah, y'all. So I'm at, it's not a park, I don't think. To, well, I guess partially it's a park. I'm by a river, technically. It's a park to me, honey. Anything's a park if you want it to be a park, right? But um, yeah. Um, <laughs> if you see hear me getting out of breath, it's because I've been fasting for almost six days. And I just broke it. But it's just, oh, been doing a lot of detoxing, honey. Been doing a... <laughs> But I feel good. I feel good. Yeah, I wanted to share this view with you guys. I can't really go too close to the river just because the noise is a lot, honey. You, this river, some of y'all might recognize, though. Well, I don't even think you can see it with that glare. Whatever. This is the same spot that I've right, like recorded a few videos at in different spots. I did my first mood bong. I guess it was a fruit bong. And then I did like a little cute, like... <laughs> Probably the video I did like the most editing on, but even that I can look at and be like, oh, it's really amateur. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, was, I think I was talking about like how I work through depression or something like that, <laughs> right? I'm such an angsty person, right? From the sounds of like what I talk about in my videos, it comes off like, if you don't watch my videos, ooh, ooh. honey, Jesus, is that you? Ooh, hold up, wait, why am I looking so, I look so virginal so pure i love it <laughs> um yeah if, i feel like if you just look at my video topics and stuff it probably just comes off as like i'm such an angsty person right and maybe the right i don't know <laughs> but in this video i don't even know what i'm gonna title it so i guess i can't be like as you can presume from the title but um in this video i want to talk about kind of just being proud of yourself and what inspired me hold up Ugh. Ugh. hold up y'all hold up Ugh. Ugh. i'm an old oh. <laughs> i'm an old man y'all i'm 25 years old <laughs> hold up wow i look so lovely in just this turtle bag i am kind of chilly y'all so actually i guess i can just edit this so Outfit change? How? I wanted to talk about being proud of yourself. And oh yeah, that's where I was. I was gonna talk about how I even came to think of this, right? <laughs> because I'm kind of like a, I'm a bad storyteller, but I like to use examples, right? Even in my readings, I always like to use examples to get across a point to um, try to express an emotion. I'm really not good with words and speaking, <laughs> as you probably can tell. But um, that's such a side tangent, huh? But <laughs> I want to talk about being proud of yourself because I kind of went through this process and I still am, right? I don't want to make it seem like me speaking about this means I'm just like this awakened person and now like I don't deal with it, like I don't deal with my own issues still. But the other night I chose to celebrate myself and um, I talked about it on my Twitter a little bit where I was just like, Kind of just acknowledging like the hustle, the growth I've done 
just even on my YouTube channel. Like, I don't even consider everything that I've <laughs> in the past like couple of years, what I've endured and gone through, or two or three years, I guess, really. And just the journey I've been on, because it just, um, I think a, a lot of it has to do with like, I don't feel like I have the time to, which I kind of don't. <laughs> I always have to just be thinking about what is the next step, what is the next step, right? Um, but there was a part of it of where, I don't know if you would even consider it imposter syndrome, because it's not like I was feeling like I was faking anything, but it was almost like, I didn't want to be the one to acknowledge my my power. <laughs> this sounds this so dramatic. I didn't want to be the one to acknowledge my, um, I guess we can just call it strength, my, uh, my hustle, my growth. Yeah, just like my growth, my progression, who I was, who I've become, who I am trying to become and what I'm working on, what, I'm, what I've done, what I've, you know, just all of that and all in just a big bubble. And I think there probably is like a part of it where um, there's like a sense of shame. You don't want to ever come off as egotistical, right? That's usually not most people's goals. They don't want to come off as egotistical because if they come off as egotistical, then that comes off as like they have to prove something, right? You don't want to feel like you have to prove something. You just kind of want that respect, right? And so I went <laughs> when I was tweeting about it, um, I was doing my skincare and I, <laughs> I don't even know what drew me to do this because I'm usually not the one that does like the, those like self-talk routines, talking in a mirror or whatever. Like I'm, I'm always just in my thoughts, right? So I don't need to look at a mirror to talk to myself, right? I'm always like looking at everything objectively, trying to see different perspectives. But I was doing my skincare and I... <laughs> I just felt drawn to say that I was proud of myself. Ooh. And y'all, when I tell you the tears that came up rolling down my face, it was insane. Because I was just like, what is going on here? Why am I why am I getting so emotional? What like <laughs> what? And it came to realize I just like continuously cry for a little bit and I was been self-reflecting on it since then and what I've come to currently right I'll share my thoughts of where I think it all is coming to now that's what this video is for I don't I I always am constantly like trying to improve my thoughts trying to see whatever so this is like where I currently am at with it right <laughs> but um I think it's like this weird thing because I think I talked about it in my last video too, my last personal video, where I was just like upset when someone wasn't respecting me and they weren't respecting my time, they weren't respecting my work, and they were just trying to use me and <laughs> insult my intelligence essentially. And then I was like thinking on it and I was just like, well, you know, I feel like maybe I'm alone in this. Right? Maybe I'm alone in this, but I feel like we kind of can put this expectation on other people to, as I was saying before, acknowledge where we've come from, where like our strength, our ability and all that, right? We don't want to have to be the one to be like, hey, like respect me for this and that, whatever right, for X, Y, and Z reasons. I can say for myself, I just don't want to come off as like full of myself, right? <laughs> Partially. There is probably a part where I don't fully embrace it myself, but honey, that's probably another conversation, hello. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's this weird thing that we can kind of do with people, or at least maybe that's just what I've done, where I can start holding resentment towards people when they're not respecting me in the way that I know I should be respected, but I don't even respect myself in that way, right? I, <laughs> and it's crazy, right? We set up this standard for people where, or at least I do. Again, I'm just, I'm just saying we, so maybe I'm not alone in this. Maybe I'm just crazy, <laughs> but I set up this standard with people, I guess, 
where I'm just like upset of being like, why aren't you treating me in X way? Why aren't you being a better friend towards me? Why aren't you um, respecting me? Why aren't you, you know, why, 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 why? And I think, I guess I probably have touched on this before where there's a quote of where we're constantly teaching everybody else in the world how to treat us. And I don't know, maybe it was just, I never really, like, I understood the thought process behind it, but I never really appreciated it. I never really um, perhaps thought about it from my relationship with people and from my experiences. I don't know, maybe I just got deeper with it. And now I'm just, was able to understand that quote a little bit more and so what i want to suggest to everybody truly like truly and let me know if you do it and let me know how it feels because truly when i say like i'm not the one that talks about like like i enjoy like a good quote because i can like dissect it and really go deep with it but when it comes to like affirmations even like speaking to like i don't get into that but whenever i said that i was proud of myself truly meant it <laughs> there was probably a heavy part where it's just like you know past like issues past childhood issues never being told that no one in my life told me that they're ever proud of me right <laughs> but um i don't know i think it's it was just such a it felt like something unlocked in me and i hope it unlocks something in you if you do try it because it's just been able to almost allow me to claim more of my ability allow me to claim more of my power as cheesy and dramatic as that sounds right and i don't know it makes me feel good it makes me feel a lot more hopeful of what is to come right it helps me quiet that voice that's in my head that's always trying to constantly sabotage things in my life trying to have me overanalyze things or hyper focus on things that will upset me right it's just yeah i don't know i appreciate y'all for listening to me but i love you so much <laughs>